It was game, set and match, rude. He defeats Felix OJ Aliassime in two tight sets. It was a very, very close match with hardly anything separating the two, really. Uh, but let's go over and break down the reasons which led Rude to the victory. My name's Henry Tui. Welcome to Post Match Breakdowns and subscribe if you love tennis. I'm working really, really hard to keep producing the best tennis content I can, uh, so subscribing would mean the world. Uh, my last video did great and actually gained 10 subscribers from that one, so thank you to all of you uh, who did subscribe. Uh, but let's get into it and start off with the court conditions. So Chirin is a very, very fast indoor hard court and the ball bounces very, very quickly through the court. Um, and these kind of conditions really benefit big servers and they promote shorter exchanges because there's more kind of plus one balls uh, due to short returns. And for a stat, 65% of points in this match were played in the 0 to 4 shot category. So hardly any long rallies in this one. Um, Felix has been an absolute monster on the indoor hard courts for the past couple of months. Uh, he said th he won three titles in a row, followed by a semi-final. Um, and he's just been playing incredible tennis on in these kind of conditions. Um, so I felt it would suit him better, especially as he has the better first serve out of the two of them in terms of pace uh, and accuracy. But both of them served big and were basically as solid as each other in the first set. Uh, by the end of the first set, Rude had won 80% of points uh, on the first and second serves and Felix had won 70% of points behind the first and second serve. Uh, that's almost untouchable from both. Uh, they were just rattling through their service games very impressively without any real trouble. Um, but it was Rude who started to find some inroads in the latter stages of the first set. Uh, and I think that's because of the spots that Felix decided to serve into. Uh, so let's take a deeper dive because it was a very, very serve dominated match. Um, so for Felix, um, on both the juice and ad court, he was aiming out wide over 70% of the time. Um, and he did this to, to push Rude out wide into kind of a compromised court position that he would have to make up with defense. Um, and it also gave Felix opportunities to hit into the open space that he created uh, if the return came back at all because he was serving so well. Um, and this was obviously very, very effective. His service numbers were amazing. Um, and that open court he hit into, he managed to hit uh, 16 winners uh, by six all compared to Rude's seven. Uh, and on the other hand, Rude had a much more even split on his serve. So on both the juice and at the ad court, he was 50-50 whether he was going up the tee or out wide. And I think this was very, very keen from Rude um, because this kept Felix guessing um, as to where he was going to go. But because it was so even, he, he couldn't cheat one way or the other because Rude mixed it up so often. Um, and that, that really gave him an advantage because, yeah, as I said, Felix could not cheat to one side. Uh, and about that, I think that is why Rude had slightly more success on the return uh, because Felix, Felix's serve on both sides was more than likely going out wide. Uh, so Rude moved himself out wide and also stepped into the court a little bit um, to cut off the angle. Um, he started this adjustment towards the end of the first set and I think that put more pressure on Felix uh, as more returns started to come back into play uh, because Rude was just getting his eye in on the return. Um, but both had very, very different ways about, about where they served, uh, but both were very, very effective. And when you're serving that well, both of the players, it's only really one eventuality for the first set, and it did go to a tie break. Um, and unsurprisingly, it was on serve until 3-2, where there was a trade of mini breaks. Uh, a Felix double fault, the first of the match, gave away one, uh, but and a rude, unforced error gave it right back. Um, but at 5-4, Felix just lost a tiny bit of consistency uh, and two unforced errors gave away the tiebreak 7-4 uh, and the set 7-6. Uh, but in this first set in particular, there was really nothing in between them. Rude just played a tiebreak 10% cleaner um, and just perhaps some scoreboard pressure and Rude's improved return just led Felix to giving away those, those errors at such a crucial point in the tiebreak. Uh, and it was much the same in the second set, really. Both of them were holding fairly easily, um, which was really up until 3-all when Felix was serving. Because he only made one first serve in the entire game uh, before hitting two uh, unforced errors and a double fault to eventually give it away. And it looked like a slight lapse in concentration for Felix, just a slight slip in his intensity level. Um, but also, it did seem that he changed his serve. Uh, and by that, I mean where he served. Uh, so on the ad side of the court, he actually went up the T 70% of the time compared where he went out wide 70% of the time. Um, and that was a very, very dangerous play because that played onto Rude's forehand. Um, 
and it, which is his best return, a central forehand. Uh, he can play it anywhere from there. Um, and it didn't compromise Rude's court position at all. So it didn't give Felix any free space to hit into uh, and any angles for him to work with. Um, and Felix obviously paid the price by being broken. Um, and also, Felix was just making fewer first serves compared to the first set, uh, which put much more pressure on his second serve. Uh, his second serve became very, very central uh, and very safe within the service boxes. Uh, once again, allowing Rude to hit forehands, which is why he did started to do so much damage from that position. Felix was much, much more ambitious in the first set with his second serve because he was so reliable on the first serve. So he felt he could always fall back, fall back, fall back on that brilliant first serve uh, and use it as a crutch. But having lost a little bit of reliabil reliability, uh, he, he therefore lost a bit of confidence uh, and just played really, really safe second serves and Rude capitalised. Um, Felix's win percentage behind his second serve uh, was down to 33% compared to 75% in the first set. Um, and that was a huge difference and that was the difference in the second set and eventually uh, the match. Uh, because Rude served, it, served out the match very, very comfortably, uh, taking it 7-6, 6-4. Uh, so overall, it was an entirely serve dominated match, as I said, in that 0 4 shot category. Uh, so important that you had to serve well. Um, and Rude did just serve that little bit better, but actually much better towards the end of the second set because he maintained his superb service numbers throughout the entire match um, and also kept up the variety of where he served, just never making Felix comfortable, always changing it up. Um, and Felix himself became much less comfortable as the match progressed uh, due to Rude's adjustments, but also just a dip in quality from Felix, uh, especially that drop in first serve percentage in the second set and also where he served. He just gave Rude way too many forehands uh, and he will hurt you. He's got one of the best forehands in the world. Uh, and speaking of the devil, Rude now leads the head-to-head 3-2-1 -head and advances in the green group. Uh, I'm going to attempt to break down Medvedev Rublev tomorrow, so tune in for that. But that wraps up my analysis. A lot of work goes into these videos, so subscribing would mean the world. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great one.